All right. I'm going to do a a review after having the uh, MSX 100 volt, the uh, 1845, 1860, whatever you want to call it, just the 100 volt version, the one uh the uh, 100 volt wheel. Um unfortunately, you know, I haven't been seeing a lot of really honest reviews about it so um, and all the reviews are usually from all the reviews are usually from when you first get the wheel but after six months you know you get to know its caveats and uh, its its usual behaviors and how it handles how much range you get how fast you can get how it does in the rain different things handling off-road use different different kinds of situations um, me I'm 200 pounds so you know I get less range and usually a little bit less speed than everybody does since uh, my voltage sags a lot more due to my weight so I want to give you a little review of it um, and uh, tell you what I think about it so far I, I definitely think it's a very solid wheel um, after about six months, um, it's been pretty reliable. I've I've never had any issues with with uh, uh, cutouts due to um, glitches or anything of that nature, hitting bumps. Um, and I've gotten pretty confident on on this wheel. I've hit forty to forty two consistently before I beep. I start to hit the beeps and you know this is while sitting down of course um, standing up it might be a little less maybe 40 but uh, I've I've really in enjoyed it um, one of my, the main caveats I find though is is this angled pedal here this angled pedal um, it kind of when you're standing on an angled pedal for a long time your feet start to hurt a lot more than uh, than a flat pedal at zero degrees or so. I don't know if this is like five degrees or whatever. Other than that, it's actually pretty good for turning, in my opinion. I've I haven't had any issues with the pedal angle. I kind of gotten used to it, and uh, you know these are not the stock pads too. These are some Russian pads I got. Um, even though I'm I feel a little restricted with these pads so um, to each his own other people they swear by it I really don't like them too much I might actually go back to my old pads the the stock Gotway pads regarding the tire I think it handles great uh, it doesn't have any weird type of feeling like the Z10 does and I've put like 6,000 miles on this tire tread alone and it probably has maybe like 25 or 20 percent of its tire tread left compared to when I first got it. So it is pretty pretty wear resistant for the most part. And I really haven't had any flats, but that's not really due to the tire itself. That's due to me putting tire sealant inside the the tube itself. Um, and I've seen other people uh, make their MSX tubeless, which I'm not brave enough to do because I, I like to reuse tubes sometimes. I like to have my tubes at least a year, a year and a half because I like to get the most use out of it and I'm kind of lazy so I, I really don't like to change tubes. Even though when you change your tires, you know, you might as well just change your tube too. So it doesn't matter. I've, I've had like two major crashes on this, on this wheel particularly. Um, on the front end and this part in the middle it's split all the way to here and you could what before you could you could see that these gaps here they were open so I had to kind of take out the screws take it apart a bit and put the screws back and honestly it, it's, it looks the same as it was before so in that regard I haven't had any issues what I really like is Honestly, people may disagree, but I like the lights a lot, a lot, um, for an MSX. You know, the Nikola, honestly, you know, I, I like those lights better. 
but in in all honesty for an msx these lights are nice and uh you know it has i guess i'll just show you the light modes while i'm here um it has this 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 is a, a rainbow light mode where uh as you go forward and backward the lights will change uh, unfortunately i can't really put it up i can actually you know actually i probably can hold on a second guys so here's a light test for the front this is how it looks usually it goes, it goes faster as you go and uh, also in the back I'll do it for you too the back one um, it's a bit hard for me with this camera but that's how it looks in the back that's a little view of the lights both of them hope it was good enough um uh there are some things that don't come with this that i have like this front guard right here this does not come with msx this is not a a stock option and neither are these pads um these pads are don't come stock these are ones that are custom made and neither is the sticker this sticker does not come with the msx Although there is a sticker that does come that I've removed that is not there. Also, uh, there's one light over here, um, which you can uh, put on steady or strobe. And then you can also change modes. There is a flashing light mode for the LED lights on the front uh, and the back. And then there is also uh, just uh, on each on each LED light mode, you have uh, solid and strobe or flashing lights. I I call them on this that's uh, that's on each LED mode. So as you change it, if you go to nothing, there's this is a uh, I, I call it incognito mode where there's no lights at all. And on that mode, you can have solid or flashing. Then it goes back to the 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 rainbow effect. So I'll just go through the mode so you can see how it is. I'm, I'm clicking every time, by the way. I'm clicking the button on the top. So I'll let you see it. And then it circles back to the original. And... Uh, I'll just show you all the real, all the features. Really, it's it's just one button controls pretty much everything that you do on it, um, including the lights. Instead of hold, usually to turn it off and turn it on, you hold the button. But to do the lights and stuff, you touch it. You touch it. Just press it, and it'll change it. Of course, my favorite is the rainbow effect. You know, call it what you want, but that's how I like it. Also, there is a uh, USB port. Uh, note that this ring here is, it, I put it like this because I had to change my charge port for uh, reasons I won't state on here. Um, also, there is a USB port that puts outputs uh, um, for your phone or whatever you need to charge. Put some lights maybe, it's all up to you really. Five pin charge port, 100 volt, it's right here. Probably see right there. Um, also, there is a trolley handle. People complain about this trolley handle. I really don't care. It's a it's a handle. Who who the hell cares? At least it has a handle. Unlike the monster where you gotta buy one. Um, and there is no lift sensor under here, as you can see. Um, you know, as I lift it up, it'll still spin. So, my average speeds are usually around 30 to 35 miles an hour with bursts of 40 every so often. And one of the things I found and I struggle with is my, my range. Because, not because I don't get enough of it, but because I get less than everybody that weighs less than me. Because most of the people usually weigh under 180 
and then you have these like 20% of us or 15% of us way over 200 really depending on your geographical location but usually got guys that are like 90 pounds 120 pounds we have a rider that he oh he always gets twice the amount of range as me